Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Today we're going to talk about a very controversial subject, which is not controversial at all. Just simply fact. They're called Kenites. The sons of Cain are descendants from Lucifer. They're in the Bible, they're called Kenites. Sometimes they got along with the Israelites. Who are the Kenites? The people who have royal blood in them. The Kenites are not necessarily anybody who claims to be Jewish or Ashkenazi. Because remember, you're Jew circumcised inwardly in the heart. These are the people who have been the Illuminati, who have been dominating humanity for 6,000 years. That's why they call it the family, the brotherhood, the sisterhood. Now, if anybody chooses Jesus, and the Bible says no, no man after the flesh, that's for the kingdom of heaven criteria. But for the kingdom of hell, you know them by their bloodline. That's why these so-called elites are literally bragging over people having their blood tested. And for the record, I've had this happen more than once. I've known people who came from these families who told me. Yes, you know. And then they laughed at me and said, Anti-Semitic, anti-Semitic you're Hitler, you're devil, you want to kill six million. <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay, so now if you have royal blood in you, you repent. You're not a second-class citizen. You should be watched in terms of if you're going to, you know, like, harm people and start a war or something like that, okay? Or pimp some currency that's just like garbage or whatever. You know, like, that's why we watch. But if you're a Christian, then in the terms of the kingdom of heaven, you're not a Kenite. You're no different than anybody else. You're not a Lucifer. You're Christian. And I mean that. I hope I can win every one of you for Jesus. And I mean that. Now, here's the great expose of the Illuminati. You ready? You've seen them do with the uh, dollar bill, and it's got a pyramid, and it's got a big pyramid, and it's got a little pyramid on top, okay? It's got a little guy right on top. <laughs> it's got a little guy right on top. Here. We see that? It has a smaller pyramid on top of a big one, and there's a space in between it. That little pyramid is not trying to land. It's telling you there's a separation because you're not bloodline. You can't go back and choose your mama and daddy. Now, imagine you have 12 of those pyramids, like on the dollar bill, okay? you got a... A little, a little triangle and a bigger one underneath it. Now imagine there's 10, 12, 15 of them next to each other. And you label them whites, blacks, Asians, aboriginals, Ashkenazis, whoever, Sephardics, Eskimos, Inuits, aboriginals, Swiss, Swahili, Swazilanders. It doesn't matter. All the people of the world. Like the all-star team in a sporting event. A few of the Kansas City Royals, one or two, might be an all-star couple of the Texas Rangers, maybe one couple of Yankees, maybe three or four, but not all of them. So now label all the tops of those pyramids bloodline. All the people underneath him, the everyday people, who are not any lesser than him, because the bloodline, it's something to be shameful now. Am I going to hate you if you got royal blood? No. What if I got my blood tested and there's royal blood? I'm like, oh my God. Okay, I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. I've got Jesus' blood shed in my blood. The blood of Jesus in my veins. Now, the way these people have been doing things for thousands of years is the top of one pyramid bombs, harms, false flags, kills, rapes, robs, murder, molests, provokes the bottom of another pyramid. Then the people underneath that top get the blame, the war, the death, the destruction. And the top of that pyramid hides behind the bottom of that pyramid. So another top harms another bottom in a crisscross. This top harms this bottom. This top harms this bottom. This top, this bottom, this top, this bottom. And all the people underneath their leaders who they don't know are state worshiping traitors. They think they want to defend their leaders. And then the leaders hide behind the dead bodies of the people underneath the pyramid who are never going to be bloodlined. That's how they do things. They're the sons of Cain. They're defeated. In the name of Jesus, truth plus love equals life. I genuinely hope every single last one of them come to know Jesus. They are the 144,000 of Mystery Babylon, the sons of Cain. They chose poor. As long as you're still in the flesh, you can change. Uh, I'm sure there'll be consequences if somebody decides they want Jesus after, you know, after they've joined the Illuminati, but it's better than, it's, you know, it's better than making gold on hot lava for a thousand years. I'm going to do a video on that on hell, the nature of hell. Uh, I hope every one of you who listens to this, everyone in the government, I hope everyone who listens to this says, yes, I know this for a fact, that will never change. Does it make him Hitler? Hitler was a Rothschild, a serpent seed. And while I'm at it, just because he put the hexagram on some sympathetic Ashkenazi doesn't mean the hexagram is now all of a sudden a good symbol, or I'm a serpent seed because Hitler taught the serpent seed when he was a serpent seed. It's the only thing that makes sense, okay? The serpent seed, money in circulation... Serpent seed is these currencies floating around. 
They're all debt. They're, they're slavery. You know them by their work. It's just that simple. Kenites are not blacks or Ashkenazis or whites. People with royal blood in them. People who are proud of it and will never apologize for it. They're going to go straight to hell. That's their life force of Satan. That's the essence of Satan, Cain, and Eve. Just like I did an essence on Jesus, a teaching on the essence of Jesus' who shed blood. This is how it is. They're the imposter 144,000 manifest sons of God. The imposters. They're not the real ones. They'll claim to be everything the Bible teaches. There's a movie called Legends of Atlantis. It's sick and evil. It's all satanic. But if you want to know what those crazy people think, if you can handle it and you're a strong Christian, look at it. And they, they think they're the 144,000 they're going to get to face it. They're not. They, they may for Lucifer, but they could go straight to hell with it. So these are the sons of Cain. The builders, the workers, the, you know, uh, the Phoenicians were part of them. I have nothing against them if you're from wherever. Lebanon, Monaco, Palestine, wherever the Phoenicians went, Bahrain, God bless you. I have nothing against you, neither does Jesus. If you do have that bloodline, repent. If you don't, no problem. But you don't get into the kingdom of heaven by not having the blood or by knowing who's what or what. You've got to repent right here, all the way on the inside. Forgive me, Jesus, my everything's wrong. I pray for these Kenites, but we're also going to battle spiritually against them, not that there is a battle, because you already gave us the victory 2,000 years ago. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, truth plus love equals life.